back, everyone. It's 1242. You're watching CT Style. So the Oscars are right around the corner, and obviously you're going to want to enjoy the night with some popcorn. And right. Mark Vicito, uh, who, yes. who has liquid popcorn. He's from the Omni. John Davenport's the restaurant inside. This is such a wacky idea. Did you come up with this? Um, kind of did, yeah. I kind of came up with the, the little weird twists on it. This was actually a recipe from Alina's in Chicago. Okay. Um, the chef over there, Grant, is a little crazy. He's kind of like me. Okay. And he came up with it, but I put my little twist on it here. So this is this is popcorn. This is this is popcorn the way you We are eat drinking it in a popcorn. How but do you get the, it down to that level? Well, I'm, I'm going to sure show that's you. What you're going to talk about. But the the good thing about this popcorn is you can eat this, uh, you can drink this without getting all that stuff in your teeth. That's nice. fantastic. Are your hands all greasy, so right? Yeah, well, you know. I think we might need real we might not need real popcorn anymore. This might yeah, be Well, a, this is this is the like the space version. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you okay. pop the corn. So here's what we do. You pop your corn. Just you could use any kind of popcorn. You could use microwave, you can use anything. Popcorn is popcorn, all right? So you do about, I don't know, a cup of popcorn, half a stick of butter, Cup of sugar, all right, boom, 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 a little bit of salt. Get everything cooking. Everything's cooked up. Boom, magic of television. There you go. So that's the finished product. That's your finished Can product. Can we taste just to you make sure, sure this is the real? You sure could. Now, sweet real and McCoy. salty? Mm, it's tasty. Once you have your popcorn made, you can make it any way you want, like I said. Take about two cups of water. Oh, what? Huh? All right, two <laughs> cups doing, of water Mark? into the popcorn. What? You want to liquefy it, all right? And then you put your sugar and salt and your other ingredients that we put in here into the, into your popcorn. Got it. And you, and you boil it. Okay. Boil it for about 10 minutes. Okay. Just like that. Just like this. It's okay. going to boil. It's going to turn to like... Mush, gooey, right? Gooey, gooey mush. Okay. okay. Which is a kind of a cool thing. And um, that's what you want. You want to get it mushy. Yeah. Okay. Is it's it on? Here. There Whoa. we go. Oh, I put the wrong one. It's on. all. That's it's okay. okay. We Imagine that. But look, it's already done. So. Yeah, and, and it's already done. Don't so worry. here's what we're going to do. After, you t after this is cooked down for about 10 minutes, you take it and you could put it through a strainer. You could do it the old-fashioned way, all right? And you take it, put it in a strainer like this, and you would push it through the sieve, through the bottom here. Yeah. So it'll turn into a liquid. Or, once it's cooked for 10 minutes, you could take your... Um, emulsion blender, yeah, huh? Your emul emulsion blender. blender try bleh, it or, no, I wouldn't do it oh, because okay. I don't have it cooked right, off because right, it right. takes a lot. Yeah, we, a lot we don't want to make a mess here. We don't or you could put it in your blender at home. All right, and you're going to end up with a product that looks like this. Right there. Okay, and I would still put it through the strainer because there are big pieces. Kernels. What are the ones big. that don't pop? Right. Exactly. <laughs> you don't you, want that. You don't want that. And that'll still get in your teeth. So you put it through your strainer. Okay. You're going to end up with something really cool looking like this. So that's the finished product. <laughs> this is the finished product right here. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our. It glass. sounds really cool when you explain it, but then looking at it, it's like uh, it, it, is it looks kind of funky, good, right? Oh. Is that okay. caramel? Caramel. Oh, uh -oh. I like so that. Put a little caramel in there, just around the rim. Can you make this adult liquid popcorn? Yes, you can make this adult liquid popcorn. Oh my goodness! All right, so we take. I think this oh might be goodness. the unique this thing we've like, ever tasted here on the is, show. This, this is, is really cool. so cool. People like it. I like it. Did you right. try it? No, I'm waiting for oh, you. Okay. Little there cheers. You Mark, do you want some? Do you oh, want I drink it all the time. All right, let's see. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. No, go ahead. It's good stuff. <laughs> Mm. Wow. Like, it's got oh. a little popcorn soup. It's pop popcorn soup. Yeah, I feel like I'm at the movies <laughs> right now. This is so good. Oh, my goodness. There you go. So you're drinking popcorn. Did you ever think you'd be drinking popcorn? No. Never. It's nice like we and warm and cozy, this though. This yeah, is what, what would you pair with this? What butter schnapps. At, but, oh, but no. Oh, oh, food. Oh, food. Not, not just the alcohol. I feel like this I mean, is more of a dessert. Food. I don't know right, if you want Snickers to eat dinner with this, right? It's definitely a dessert thing. Uh, Snickers bars, something like that. It'd go good with cupcakes. Wow, wow that is something. This is yeah. so unique. Man. It's great for great. kids' parties. I feel like they should chew it, but right? I don't you want to chew it. <laughs> what are we doing with it? This is good stuff. It's so hey, Mark, so what are some it of is. the? Uh, do you, this isn't on the menu at the <gasps> restaurant. Oh is no, it? <laughs> but um, I could do it as specials. I've done it many times as specials. I sent it to uh, a few rooms as amenities mm. uh, for VIPs <laughs> and stuff. It was really cool. So and, so neat, man. Yeah, yeah and wow. it doesn't. It could be room temperature. It doesn't have to be hot. You know? Very cool. It's really, really neat. It's kind of unique. I'm a fan. How, how about when we stop by the Omni over at John Davenport's? What can people expect? Because it's one of like the <sighs> nicest hotels in New Haven. Uh, what it a is. view it up is. there, too, and, right? And, and it's one of the better restaurants in New Haven. I'm trying to toot my own horn, being Chef Todd, or uh, changing menus right now. And uh, we're putting in a nice new spring menu, something really upbeat. Nice. Uh, you know, changing things around a bit. Maybe we could sneak something like this in. I think you should. <laughs> I think it should make. I the think menu. the bar could serve this, yeah. uh, and they'd have a great time with well, it. Well, it's so unique. I mean, it's it's one of those things like, you, I've, I've never had anything like it. No, it's, it's, it is it's something. Cool. I feel like I might need a you spoon. Gotta, this is I think this I is steampunk culinary at its finest. That's this it. Is what, this is what I do. I take normal food and I 
Put a crazy twist on it. Steampunk it. We love it, brother. Thanks awesome. For coming Thank on you for being here. Who are you rooting for for the Oscars? Best picture. Uh, uh, me and Chef Plum for um, <laughs> restaurant, <laughs> road trip. restaurant Road there Trip. I didn't go. know you guys were nominated, but hey, we'll take it. Why not? <laughs> Cheers to you guys at home. We'll All be right. back. Cheers. Uh, in, in just a minute, right?